We've all seen how plastics are polluting the planet, but they also contain invisible health threats. Plastics are mainly made from oil, mixed with thousands of chemicals, including many linked to cancer, brain damage and infertility. Even worse, the oil and chemical industries plan to triple plastic production by 2050. Without even knowing it, we bring toxic chemicals into our homes and they're entering our bodies. They package the food and drinks we consume. They're in the synthetic fabric of the clothes we wear and in the bottles and toys we give our children. Yes, plastics are a public health threat throughout their entire life cycle. We can be exposed to toxic chemicals from the extraction and production processes. When we use plastic products and during their disposal, Chemicals in plastics don't go away, so recycling or disposing of plastics simply spreads the health problems around. The reality is plastic recycling is a hoax. It simply passes toxic chemicals on to others and poisons the circular economy. Western countries dump hazardous plastic waste on communities, threatening public health. And the oil and chemical industry's toxic plan is to burn the plastic waste as fuel, which is even more deadly. It poisons our air, food and bodies, plus contributes to climate change. The current situation is totally out of control, but there are changes we can make now to intervene at all stages. We should have the right to know when plastics contain dangerous chemicals. We must demand global policies to end the use of toxic chemicals in plastics. We must hold plastic makers financially responsible for the harm done by their products. We need to ban toxic waste recycling and plastic waste fuels. We must also end subsidies for the fossil fuel industry to reduce the volume of plastics produced and invest in safer, more sustainable materials. Only then can we begin to create a truly circular economy one that protects our planet, our health and our future.